Hello everyone, this is Matthew Vadney. I was just making a video about how to create categories on your FA Web gradebook um, because, you know, it's, it's a tricky little act. Um, whenever you start the school year, you need to set up the categories by which you will organize all your assignments as well as decide what's the, the weight given for each type of assignment. So I thought I'd do that. As you can see, I've already done it for a few places. I'm going to do it for my 8th grade reading. Now make sure when you click on, it's very easy to miss, but make sure you're looking at the right school year. If you don't have the right school year, click on settings and put it to the school year you're working in and then change it to regular and click OK. Alright? Now if you're ready to set up categories, you'll go to Gradebook and well, my little shade here is kind of in the way. Let me move that down. Click on Edit Categories. Okay. And again, make sure it's for the quarter that you want and the grade you want. Always click here because you want to do percentages and it will calculate the percentage of each category for your grade. And it's very simple. You just list them. Now, the categories I pick actually align with the most common and frequent um, IEP objectives uh, that I have to annotate at the end of the quarter and I need to have a percentage right about how well they're working on that particular objective. So that's how I that's how I'm going to categorize my assignments. So I'm going to do vocabulary and I'll give that a default name of voc. Then I'll click on new to get a new line and then I'll do sentence variety and then I'll put press the tab and do SV. Okay. New again. I'm going to do edit eyes. That's going to be ER. New again. I have a lot of these. Remember, the categories have to, uh, the percentage wise has to add up to 100%. Um, so I have a lot of categories. I conveniently have 10 categories. We'll see how I do that. Um, so I plan, and we have grammar, homework, actually I'll just do this, um, grammar class work, oops, make sure you spell right, G, C, grammar, homework, G, H, uh, reading, That's a tricky one because as a category you could do it as just details or inference or two separate ones. Um, but keep in mind when you do your uh, uh, percentages, you can't. It's all a factor of ten, but you cannot do a half of a of a ten, like a 0.5 or so. So that's kind of tricky. And then of course I have reading homework because I mean like that. And then finally, everyone's favorite test. Oops. There we go. Test. All right. Then over here, see, it says factor. Here's where I'm going to put it. Again, if I have 10 categories, it, I'm going to put a factor of 1. So 1 times. Okay. See, look, I've only done 1. I've only done one category, and so one, factor of 10, one is 100, but when I add two, it goes to 50. Now, three, four, and again, it's all keeping it aligned so that it's automatically calculating to 100. And now, and the good thing is when you go to save your work, you're not going to have to worry about it because it'll tell you if your percentages don't add up. Can do that? Yes, they do, and there we go. Now, you don't want to have to do this for every class, so what you can do is you can copy categories, right? So you'll go to Gradebook, click on Categories, all right? Again, make sure you have the right year. Oh, look at that, Dave. I'm going to do 2006 to 2007, 
but I'm going to go during the first quarter. See? It's really scary when it goes totally blank, isn't it? Then I'm going to click on 8-1, because that's what I just did. And then I'm going to click here. I'm going to do quarter for my odd 8-2 grouping. All right. Then I'll click on gradebook information. I just want to copy the categories, all the categories. Yep, that looks right, uh, but not assignments. I don't want to do that. And I click copy. And now all my eighth grade is set up. All right. And going back to home, I can see, okay, so I didn't do, well, there is no third period sixth grade as far as I know. That's really odd. There's, no, ah, there's seventh grade. So I need to, I'm going to use the same category. So once again, I'm going to copy categories. I'm going to keep it from here. But now, um, actually, I'm just going to add the column. So first quarter. And I'm going to do it for the seventh grade. Uh, seventh grade. And I have two seventh grade groups. So what are we going to do? Make sure it's saying just copy categories. I'll click copy. And there we go. So now I'm going to click on home. All right. So there's. Oh, I thought I had done that. All right. Well, you generally see the idea. All right. It's saying I'm still working on it. Uh, let's see now. I'm going to pull this screen over. I'm going to just show you kind of how it looks. I just don't want you seeing the kids' names. Perfect. So the kids' names are right there. All right, so here you go. Here's all the categories. And as you add assignments, here, I can do this. There we go. I have my reading already set up. I can click on Assignment. My students are working on BBD. One, and that stands for breaking down definition. Okay. And this is going to be, let's see, there's four to a page. That's 12. 12 times 4 is, I'm just making up a point here. 12 times 4 is 36, right? It's, oh boy, that sounds wrong. Never trust an English teacher to do uh, 12 times 4, 48. Never trust an English teacher to do math, okay? Um, and the factor here, I'm just entering this assignment for one time. And when does it do? Good grief. I shall be generous and say it's due the 20th. And there we go. We're working on vocabulary, and I click Save. And there's that assignment right there. The students' names are under the screen. Okay, and so then it's ready. And then I'll, as I enter in grades, oh, we won't overdo things. Um, here, let's say they all get A's, 48. See, the, it's automatically averaging for you. Okay? They're not that good. All right. Okay, well, folks, that's how you set, set up your uh, grade book um, for this year. Congratulations, and have a lovely day. Believe it or not.